What's up? Welcome back to our channel one more time. Today I'm doing a Valentine's makeup look. Um, as you guys can see, if you guys probably can't see because I have my bangs over my face. But I just did a smoky eye. Maybe I'll like clip them back for you guys. Um, but I just did a smoky eye. And it's just like a super dramatic look. I love it. I went out of my comfort zone and I did it. If you would like to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. We're going to start off by priming my eyes. And I'm just going to use my concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand. I'm just gonna set my eyes with a cream color. Actually, I'm just gonna go into the Kat Von D shade and light palette. I'm gonna go into this banana shade right here. I'm just gonna go in with a concealer brush by It Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna set that. So the first thing that I will be doing is I will be going into the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Excuse a little bit of foundation or whatever is on there. It's a little dirty. And I'm going to be taking this really bright, bright pink shade in the middle, which I believe it's called Savage. And I'm going to be taking this um, brush by NYX. So I'm just going to go right in my crease and go back and forth. I'm going to be going into the Milani 03 Smoky Essential Palette, and it's a really, really pretty palette, but I love the black in here. It's like my go-to black um, that I always use. It's super intense, so I'm going to go little by little, and I'm going to use this black to kind of build up on my eyes, uh, on my eyelid, and then also kind of just blend up. But once we get to like the blending part, I'm, it's going to be like a little bit more in-depth, but for the lid part, literally, I'm just going to be grabbing the, the color. I'm going to be grabbing the shadow and kind of stamping it on my eye and making sure it's all over my lid. I'm going to go in with a flat kind of like concealer brush and I am just going to pick up the color and place that on all over like my lid. And then once you get to like the inner corner, you want to be careful with it because you can totally mess up in the inner corner. So I'm just a little bit more careful there. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a little precise brush. I'm taking this brush by Avon, I believe that's what it is. But it has um, two sides, so it has a kind of like a angled side, and then it has like this dome, like more precise, like pencil um, side to it. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that black, and I'm just going to create a line right there with the black, and kind of like bring it into my crease, and then fill it in. Just because I do want it to smoke out all the way over there. I have the black laid out and of course I don't want it to just stay like this. So I'm going to go into that round crease and I'm just going to very lightly start to drag these colors. Start to drag the black up into my crease and into that pink shade. Actually, I'm going to take a different brush um, and I'm just going to apply a little bit more black like in the crease because with that brush it's kind of like fluffing away all the black. So I feel like I'm going to have to reapply the black. This is kind of like a disaster. So I'm just going to go back in and reapply the black because I did feel like it just kind of took it all away. Then I'm going to just take a little brush like so and I'm just going to apply some in the crease and kind of work my way up. Again, you just want to work little by little. If not, you could totally mess this up really fast. And it kind of helps me blend out kind of like this inner corner as well because I, it's hard to get in there with a, with a bigger brush. I don't want to mess this inner corner up.
actually gonna take like a little little teeny tiny brush and I'm gonna grab some of that pink on it and just kind of blend out like if I see like any harsh edges in the black then I'm just gonna start blending that out with the pink like I think that was the quickest eye look that I've ever done but I don't know like I don't know if I'm feeling it and we're gonna move on to the face now Woohoo! I'm gonna prime my face using this Rimmel London Save Matte um, primer I'm gonna do something fun and I'm gonna put this lighter foundation and this dark foundation in different areas of my face and I don't know I just wanted to do it today try it out see how it turned out so I'm gonna be using the Maybelline 24 hour foundation um, in 128 warm beige and I'll be using the Maybelline super super stay better than skin foundation in 90 warm honey so I'll just this one's way too late for me this one's a little too dark for me so I'll put the lighter foundation there's the places that I usually just highlight so we'll see how this turns out cuz I don't know I've never done this hopefully I don't I don't like come out too funny looking okay then I'll be taking the darker foundation and applying this like where I usually like bronze and contour and stuff. I know that you're supposed to blend out like the lighter foundation first. So I'm gonna go in and just blend out the super stay first. And now I'm just going to go in with a different sponge. This is actually a sponge from H&M. And I really like it. It was like $3.99 to like 4 bucks for it. And I love the way it blends things out. But one thing I will say is I don't like how like fast it gets so like old. The Real Technique one lasts me quite a bit of like, you know, it can last me up to like 3 months without replacing it. But this one, I can already tell that I'm going to have to like replace it like every like two weeks or every month just because like it starts to fall apart I'm gonna go in with the sand concealer and conceal underneath my eyes Okay, then I'm going to go in with just the same Real Techniques sponge and just blend this out. I really like this. Like, once I see, like, my face coming together, <laughs> I know it sounds so weird, but, like, once I see it coming together, I actually really like the way it looks. I'm setting my under eyes with the Air Airspun Naturally Neutral Powder, and I love this stuff. You can get this stuff at Walmart, but nothing sets my eyes like it does. Like, it's just amazing. And I'm going to do it a little heavier this time just because if I do get any fallout, I can just wipe it away with, um, with a brush. But I'm just kind of, I love the way. And I like the Naturally Neutral one just because it has more of, like, a neutral undertone. I'm going to go in with this brush, which is one that I just used to, like, get really close to blend out the edges and I'm gonna take that brush I'm gonna take this brush I'm gonna dip into that pink and I'm just gonna start to like just blend that out on my lower lash line I'm just gonna really blend that out like starting from here all the way out like I'm just gonna go back oh don't poke yourself in the eye like I just did cuz that hurts I'm gonna go in with just the pencil brush and I'm gonna dip into that black and I'm just going to start smoking it very, very lightly. I'm going to start smoking it on the bottom lash line. I'm going to set my face with the Fitman Loose Finishing Powder in 20 Light Medium. Oh, I probably won't do anything for Valentine's Day, but I do want to like um, maybe do something with my kids. So this year, I kind of like want to amp, amp it up and be like do fun things with my kids, like 
not even worry if there's people there not even worry if like I have a significant other like right now I'm just focusing on me my kids and making our lives like the best lives that we can live so this year I definitely want to focus if you guys hear like upstairs there's people upstairs like I live with my family so they're up there like doing their own thing uh, so I'm just gonna try to make like a little And it's okay if I mess up, right? It's okay. So sadly, I feel like the black from the Milani is kind of creasy and it's not holding up as good as it, as like I would like it to. So I feel like I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go in lightly with a different black and hope it doesn't like crease and it doesn't kind of like smudge off the way I see like the Milani one kind of flaking off and I just don't like I don't like the way it's looking and the way it's holding up and I've only had it on for a few like you know ever since I started filming so I'm actually gonna go into the BH take me to Brazil palette and I'm gonna take the black that's down here I take like a more precise brush um, this brush is also by NYX and I'm just gonna take it and just kind of put that over the Milani black that I was using Like, did you guys see, like, just how intense that got? Also, I already did my brows off of camera. All I did was, oh, I'm dropping it. I used this Smashbox um, Shape Matters, and I used the darkest shade right here with just a teeny tiny angled brush, and I just filled them in just like I normally do all the time. It's, like, the fastest way. And I, honestly, you guys, I don't spend that much time on my brows because if I do, I get so paranoid and then um, I probably will put my bangs down and so you guys probably won't even be able to see like my brows very much. Um, so I'm going to move on to mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to be using the, I don't know who this is by, but I'm going to be using the Voluminous Lash Paradise um, mascara. I'm not going to put on any falsies. I wish I had some, but I don't have any, and I just tried to get my sister to take off the ones that she had on, but she didn't do it, so. I'm going to grab a, a tiny brush, and I'm going to go into that black, and I'm just going to, like, precise, like, I'm just going to put some black, like, towards the inner corner to just complete the look. I'm going to take the Butter Bronzer by um, Physician Formula, and I am going to just use this huge fluffy brush by e.l.f. Can you guys guess what blush I'm using? Because I literally always use the same blush. And it's the BH Cosmetics Tulip Blush Duo. And I use this pinky, like, corally shade. And I use the tiniest bit. And I'm actually just going to mix a little bit with my bronzer today. I'm going to do a little bit of contour. I'm going to go into my Shade and Light palette. I'm going to grab this little brush right here. My Neutrogena. And it's so little, but I love the way it does my contouring. I remember how much like I would love it for contouring. I'm going to go into this shade right here um, from the shade and light palette and I'm just going to, I just love the line it gives me like I don't even have to work for it like it just, it's there like and it blends it out like it doesn't just put a line there but it also just blends it out. Like look at that. And contour my nose. I've been doing some extreme nose contouring lately. I don't know why but I'm going to go into the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette, and I'm going to go into this shade right here. And I just take my finger, and with the lighter shade right here, it's almost gone, I like highlight my cupid's bow and my nose. Bam. And then also like my chin just a little bit. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to use this um, matte lip cream by H&M. It's only like $4, 4 or $5, but I'm going to try it out. I don't know how it's going to look with this, but I feel like it's, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, because I don't know if I like it or not. So. guys it's such a pretty color and this is oh what's the name of it ma 
Okay guys, so I put my bangs down and I don't know, they're not really cooperating with me today. So I'll put them down just to see how, how like I look. And I like bangs have never failed me before. So I don't know why I'm thinking that they're going to fail me again because girl, I love the way my bangs look. Um, and I just went with this off the shoulder top right here. You guys can see it. It's so cute. Okay guys, so that is it for this Valentine's makeup look. I love the way it looks. It's just super like sexy. Um, I don't know. It's something that I wouldn't do. Um, I love that I tried it out. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to click the notification bell if you do subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys for my next video. Bye guys.